Hey guys, Alan here, and uh, this is the, my video tutorial to how to use Link to SD, swap the internal and external SD cards, and uh, use or change the DPI to 170, and of course the fix for the market problem that everyone that changed their DPI is experiencing. So if you did change your DPI, you can just download the recovery I created. Um, it has ESX File Explorer, so you can download your ROM toolbox and link test the externally and install it. And just restore. You don't really have to do a factory reset, but I do suggest you do one. But after that, just reboot the system. And uh, things you might need, or things you need for Windows. Uh, for Windows, you just need Partition Magic. Well, no, I mean. You need a uh, mini tool partition wizard. Uh, download that, install that. It's free. There's no spyware or anything. After you download it, that would be that would be coming in next. So, logged in to the phone. The only thing I don't, I think I don't have is electricity. We're gonna deal with that later. So we're gonna do the swap thing. Before you do the swap, you check the Play Store first. Oh, by the way, make sure you log into the Play Store first. And then after you log in, check if you're able to see. This is it for the market. If you see all the Angry Bird games, that's cool. That's part one. And then Blood and Glory. It will show there. Legend. I should not search for Legend. Three games. All those three games should show up. And the most important part is when this one, Firefox. You should be able to see Firefox browser for Android. And you should be able to download it. Because some people some people have issues with it after, even after they're fixing the market. So yeah, then just download it. I don't need it right now, but that's pretty much it. So to we're going to swap. Let me just show you first. What I'm talking about uh, phone storage, 2.07 gigs. My SD card is 57.58 gigabytes. So we're gonna swap that. So the phone would call my SD card as the internal SD card. Just a moment. So you have to download the file called uh, vold.epstab. Copy it. I just copy. And then go up, go up. Oh, yeah. You have to be, you have to have root access. I don't have root access, so. Add root access. Uh -huh. And go to the system folder. Again, how to get system folder. For example, I am in my SD card. Go up, up, and then in the root, you just go to system. Then go to folder called etc. Scroll down. Look for the file that says vault.fstab. This is the original one. So you have to rename it as a backup. So just dot back. There. And then you paste the new one. So the new one is the vault stab one. App stab. No, sorry. And then hold and then go to properties. Change the properties. And this is how it should look. Okay. Okay. Now after that, you can now reboot. Uh -huh. After we re reboot, the next thing we're in, the SD cards will now be swapped, and now you can use Link to SD. So using Link to SD, you. 
uh, you have to make a partition in your SD card. So if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you using the mini tool partition wizard. Uh, let me just close that. So the first thing you do is you connect your phone, mm -hmm. a USB cable, and connect as USB storage. What the? Connect as USB. There you go. So let's turn on USB storage. Okay, I don't care. Once it's been recognized, you have to launch. Sorry, you have to launch the Mini Tool Partition Wizard. There you go. And then in the wizard, you can actually see my SD cards. I don't. As you can, this is an asterisk. This means it's already partitioned. However, for example, I don't have a partition yet, and this is my SD card, 64 GB. You right-click on it, and then you move and resize. And you can use this to resize it, and the numbers will change. Now, the unallocated un un space will be your space, and then... Uh, for example, let me just delete this. Okay, I'm deleting my partition. Delete. So I have a 1.88 unallocated space. So I can just resize this. Move and resize. I can add the one I deleted, but I don't need that. So I'm going to put 2.16 and then click on OK. And then you create another partition. You create. Just select yes on that, and this is the important part. Create as primary file system. Best system is ext4 for, for Android. However, I'm going to use FAT32 for mine since my 64 GB cannot be ext4 for some unknown reason. I don't want to look into it, but FAT32 works for me. So just click on OK, and that would be primary, primary. None. So. Just click on apply. After you're done, just click on apply and that will apply the setting. And that's it. So I just discarded the pending settings because I'm already I'm already in partition. So once you're partitioned, you have to go back to the phone. Sit that there. You have to go back to the phone and uh, you have to run link to SD. Um, where did I put it? It's just you have to install Link to SD. Even if you haven't installed it, you can format. So just run Link to SD, and then Link to SD will ask for root access, which of course you grant that, and then you select which file system you did format for the second partition. Mine is FAT32, so click on OK. But again, if your is the XT4, you select the XT4. Now, there you go. It's asking for you to restart the phone. But before you do that, let's go to storage info. And yes, you can see the SD card is now my 64 GB. The external card is now the phone storage. And then the SD card second partition is not yet mounted. So after I reboot that would fix the issue and now and the and I can now link and move any application as many as I want as long as the SD card can handle it to the second partition and that frees up space and makes you install more applications than normal for the DPI change and market fix for people I'm sorry it's not YouTube only allows 10 minutes so that would be the continuation of the video. Follow me on the next video and click on like if you like my video. Thank you very much.